Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today I'm going to be touring the island of Amaranthus. I've probably said that wrong by my good friend Angsuna V. Angsuna is an amazing friend. She's also a phenomenal island designer, one of the most talented people I have ever met. This island appears to be like a jungle tropical island and it's filled with loads of terraforming and it took her two weeks. I said that right. She took two weeks on this island and I was expecting it to be a funny troll island because two weeks, right? But no, no, she gave us this amazingly stunning, beautiful, magical kingdom to look at. So we're going to start at the entrance, of course, because where else can you start? And we have coconut oil. She has coconuts all over the place on this island, which I mean, does kind of tell me that it is a little bit of a tropical jungle. And we have all of the terraforming over here. It looks so beautiful. The waterscaping is stunning. And I love the way this cliff looks over here with the backwards uh, waterfall leading to this little creek back here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Resonance Services is straight back and actually easy to navigate to. Uh, considering how much dense foliage there is on this island, it was actually really easy to find resident services. So I'm going to come up this incline because it's the first thing I'm seeing and we're just going to follow the arrows heading back because that's where it's telling me to go. Along the right, there is some beautiful terraforming going on, waterscaping. I see a di diagonal bridge over there. We are touring with a wide angle camera because, I mean, this can only be appreciated with a wide angle camera in just this way. It's absolutely stunning. Hold up, is that who I think it is? Oh my goodness. How dare she be on this beautiful, stunning island? I knew she was coming to an island of Oxunas. I had no idea she was going to be here to trash this gorgeous oasis. Oh my gosh. Whoa, she's looking at me. Okay, so we're going to come over here. This is Coco's house. Coco is an amazing, amazing villager, and she lives right over there. And... The monkey lives right there. We're just going to keep going. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Hopefully she doesn't follow me. Hopefully that's the last time I see her on this island. Okay, so I gave Angsuna Shari, but I didn't realize that she was coming over here. I thought she was just going to go on some kind of a troll island because she kept telling me she gave her a lot of bushes. I didn't realize it was going to be this gorgeous, beautiful, uh, charming oasis that you're going to put that heinous villager on, Onksuna. And here we are at our Nook's Cranny. And Nook's Cranny looks wildly appropriate here. It looks so good. This is Baby Nook's. If you want to keep your building in Baby Nook's, keep it within the 30 days of starting the island and don't buy anything or sell anything to them and it will never upgrade. It looks so good right here. I love the way that looks. Okay, so I do think that I need to go back to down this incline right here. That seemed to be a one-way street. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to follow this little dirt path, though, and see what happens when we go to the beach over here. Oh, Faith is here. Faith is super cute. And Hold up. Is that another one? Another heinous villager? Why? Why are we putting these people on this beautiful island, Onksuna? Onksuna, these these villagers. This island is so pretty. Um, you'll have to excuse Twisuna. She just keeps coming out randomly to let us know how she's feeling about villagers with flesh-eating diseases. And I'm so sorry if you're a stan of his. I don't know too many people that like him, except for maybe, like, Strong Mom. But... Definitely, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, so this is a little bit of wheat field core going on here. I love the wheat fields and this looks so pretty right here. Never underestimate the power of a lot of nature and natural terraforming. This is absolutely gorgeous. There are no words. What a way to do a river mouth. 
Okay, so let me try to work my way out of the dense. Okay, this is not gonna work. Hang on one second. All right, we are making our way out of the dense foliage and my baby's house is on the island. Ellie is my bestie for the restie. She's my favorite villager in the whole wide world and she is living here in this beautiful oasis that I love and simultaneously am so confused about and have so many feelings about right now. We're gonna continue along this beautiful path over here and appreciate all of the little gyroids going on up there. That looks super cute on that cliff right there. So pretty. And this, oh, there she is. Hello. In literature, dreams are sometimes seen as premonitions or a way to glimpse into the future. Does that mean I'm going to get you back? I am on the million ticket hunt for Ellie right now. Um, I was trolled into getting rid of her on my forever island and I will spend forever getting her back, darn it. So along this way, we have a lot of nature, a lot of stone, and it just some beautiful decor. Angsuna is really good about using items and how to use items. We have a little cooking thing station over here. It looks so good. Only she can make that look natural on the rocks. I also love this little um, leaf wreath right here. It looks so good. I'm gonna go up this incline and here we have the house of the villager with the with the issues and his house looks absolutely stunning as well in the middle of this beautiful dense jungle so pretty with the bug models i love the way it looks beautiful we're gonna continue on this way over here and over here we have another villager home it might be faith i i actually don't know but it does look really pretty that much i do know super super pretty over here in this area okay so i'm gonna continue making my way over here and all of the decor on this island you guys is so good it's so beautiful and stunning and all of the good words that i can think of this would be melba's house i recognize it anywhere because i love melba and um she has a little pond in front of her house that looks super cute we're gonna continue on on to the right of the island is this apollo's house it is it's apollo's house we have apollo over here just looking happy as can be he has a nice little reading area for his cranky little soul i love apollo he's an awesome villager and up here we have Curlos's house. I actually don't mind Curlos uh, too much. I give him a lot of, um, I give him a lot of smack on my island, but he's not too bad. He's pretty cool. Over here we have Angsuna's house. I have no idea if she decorated. She most definitely did not decorate the inside of her house. So we're just gonna look at it from the outside. It looks so good. It is very Angsuna over here with her reading uh, pocket magazine and with her tiny library, her little reading nook. That is a very much an Angsuna, Angsuna thing to do. She gave herself a little seating bench so that she can read over here in nature, which is very suited to her personality. And I love that. Here's our diagonal bridge with the beautiful terraforming. This is so good. This beautiful terraforming is absolutely stunning and indicative of everything that she is capable of. I can't with this girl. So good. I've never been good at doing things like this. I'm okay enough at terraforming, but not to this level. This is, this is a whole nother world than what I can do. Let me make my way to the next venue. Through the magic of editing, I will take you there. Hang on, I'm just gonna stop right here for a second. I turned off collision and I was just trying to make it to the next venue, but you would never even guess how beautiful these cliffs are. Look up here, they're so beautiful and so full. And then I noticed there's a museum back there. I know, I'm giving away the secrets. I probably shouldn't have given that away. So I did a jungle core island once and I did that with my house. I put it literally in the exact same space on the island and hit it the exact same way. So I just thought it was funny 
that that was there because there's a museum and I just didn't expect that to be there. So it is very funny to me. So just in the interest of sharing with you just all of the beautiful things on this island, these cliffs are stunning. You can only see them from a distance. You can only see a little bit, but she decorates the islands like she doesn't know who's going to be there. Like if somebody's going to come to her dream address and have the ability to, you know, turn off collision and climb on places and go places they're not supposed to. And look at how beautiful she makes this. And is that another building? <gasps> The Able Sisters is down there, you guys. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Over here, we have a beautiful natural peninsula. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. All of the nature on this island is super beautiful. The back rocks look really good. So good. Amazing. I was on board with the bugs, but why this one? It's a roach. It's really really not good. In case anyone watching this is worried, Aungsuna and I do have this kind of banter together and she's so funny and we do troll each other a little bit. She has an amazing sense of humor, so none of this is gonna offend her. I already know that and she's super awesome. You guys should definitely come to stream and get to know her. She's super talented, she's amazingly kind and she is definitely one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. She made this beautiful lake back here. It looks so cool. I'm just going for a swim. You guys can ignore me, but it's out of this river mouth right here and it looks so good, so good. Everything this girl touches is magic. So if you come up this way and you ignore the anteater, we do have her house and her house looks really nice on this island. I will give it that. Um, and she's not the worst out of the anteaters. She's okay. That would be Zoe. Zoe's fine. I like Zoe's name. I, I know a Zoe that I happen to think is a lovely human as well. And I love this little wooden board path that's underneath the boats right here. I feel like that path is absolutely gorgeous. So continuing on, I found out that there's an incline right next to Resident Services. Wouldn't you know that was going to show us the beautiful overview of this area right here. So right next to Resident Services, there is an incline that to show us this beautiful overview right here. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I can't even with her terraforming. Look how good that looks. Okay, so this is where I'm going to have to leave you guys. If you would like to follow Aungsuna, the best place to go is to our Discord. She was a moderator there and she's absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for coming and spending your time with me. I know your time could be spent absolutely anywhere on the entire internet and i value that you spent a few minutes of your time here with me hopefully you enjoyed yourself as much as i did i hope everyone has an amazing day or night and i will see you guys in the next one bye but look at this double waterfall it is so gorgeous so stunning i love it so much she just looks okay so i said she just looks stunning <laughs>